Former U.S. President Barack Obama was one of the speakers at the Nelson Mandela Centenary Lecture on Tuesday. He's called on world leaders to emulate the humility of the late South African icon. CGTN Sulisen Jamela has more. It's the first time that former U.S. President Barack Obama makes a major speech since leaving office. The venue was packed to capacity with many coming from South Africa and the rest of the continent. A number of dignitaries also formed part of the audience. Obama joins an illustrious list of leaders who have delivered the annual Nelson Mandela Lecture. Those leaders include Thabo Mbeki, Bill Gates, Bill Clinton and Kofi Annan amongst others. The event has taken place in honor of Mandela every year since 2003. Global leaders have used the lecture to raise topical issues affecting South Africa, Africa and the rest of the world. This year's theme was renewing the Mandela legacy and promoting active citizenship in a changing world. I believe in Nelson Mandela's vision. I believe in a vision shared by Gandhi and King and Abraham Lincoln. I believe in a vision of equality and justice and freedom and multiracial democracy built on the premise that all people are created equal and they're endowed by our Creator with certain inalienable rights. Obama's speech falls on the day before Nelson Mandela's 100th birthday. He sought to echo Mandela's message on the need to work together despite differences. So if we're truly to continue Madiba's long walk towards freedom, we're going to have to work harder and we're going to have to be smarter. We're going to have to learn from the mistakes of the recent past. And as we pursue, for example, sustainable development goals, we have to get past the, the charity mindset. We've got to bring more resources to the forgotten pockets of the world through, through investment and entrepreneurship, because there is talent everywhere in the world if given an opportunity. And those who attended were in awe of the former president and the message he delivered. It was an amazing speech, and I learned a lot from him. He's very insp inspirational, and yeah, he just delivered exactly, you know, the way I anticipated him to do. Obama was fantastic. I thought it's just what we need in South Africa right now. He brought a real message of hope, and I think the whole world needs to hear that right now. I'm happy seeing Obama, an African American, delivering this lecture. It really it gives young people hope, and uh, what he just mentioned about the. Um, a France team. Let's embrace each other. Let's not uh, hate migrants. Let's live within each other in hope, in love. The lecture is part of a series of events to commemorate Mandela's centenary. You listen to Jamela CGTN, Johannesburg, South Africa. And let's get you more on Nelson Mandela Day. We can cross over to Yolisa now. She's joining me live from uh, Johannesburg. Yolisa, you're following the centenary celebrations there. Can you talk us through the events prepared for the Mandela centenary today? Well, many South Africans have already rolled up their sleeves this morning, from this morning rather, in the name of the former president. We know that President Suri Ramaphosa is in the Eastern Cape in Mvezo, which is of course Mandela's birthplace. Before he delivers his keynote speech for the day, the number of activities that he will be involved in, including a distribution of blankets to the elderly, deep winter in South Africa, and so that's the gift that they will be giving them. And also also uh, distributing some bicycles for learners from rural areas and around the country the number of activities for instance Habitat SA and the Nelson Mandela Foundation will start building a hundred houses in commemoration of the hundred years in three provinces in this country we know as well that the, the elders will be marching in commemoration of this day the elders is a group of former diplomats, former leaders, former statesmen. It's a group that was put together by Nelson Mandela to ensure that they deal with the challenges that we face on a daily basis. So there's a number of activities all in the name of the former president and its celebration and commemoration. All right, uh, Yulisa and Jamela following the centenary celebrations for us from Johannesburg. Thank you.